So welcome back to my channel, welcome to another video. Uh, I've come down to Flamborough Head this morning, well, Benson Cliffs, just just a little bit north of Flamborough Head, which is off in that direction. The plan this morning is to do a couple of long exposure seascapes before the sun comes up, which is, well, it's just starting to happen um, um, behind me over there, I can't talk this morning. Um, and once we've taken some long exposure seascapes, we're gonna take some pictures of some seabirds. Um, Benton Cliffs is one of the largest seabed colonies in the UK. Uh, in the middle of summer, there's around 250,000 seabirds visit here, so there's normally plenty around to photograph. Uh, Mid-April, we may be a little bit early in the season. Birds are starting to arrive. I mean, sort of looking down there, you can see there's already a good, well, there's a good couple of hundred on the cliffs behind me down there. So we're gonna take a walk along the um, cliff tops once I've had a play around here with the sea arch. And then we're just going to go around taking some pictures of some seabirds and there's some puffins around as well, which I've already seen one, which is quite a good sign. Because I've tried this a couple of times before and I've never had much joy with the puffins, they're a little bit elusive for me. Um, but I've done my research, I'm here at the right time of year, I'm here at the right time of day, so hopefully we may get a puffin or two. But it's looking more like the gannets, if I'm being honest with you. Um, so we're going to get stuck in, we're going to go take some pictures of the sea arch down there. Walk along the top, take some more pictures, shooting back this way. There's a little bit of mist and fog over there near Scarborough. And there's a little bit of rain behind me, so the weather's going to be a little bit hit and miss. But now I'm looking forward to this one, so let's get stuck in and take some pictures of some seabeds. So anybody that's been to Bempton Cliffs will know that I am the wrong side of the fence right now. Um, I've decided just to come out onto this little bit of this little bit of a headland pokey out bit. I just want to get a bit of a different take on this image, if I'm being honest with you. The view's quite good from up here, like. Um, so what we're doing, oh god, the rain is coming, we're just taking a picture of the sea arch leading along, Let's see if I can get this to show up on the camera, no, just going to take a picture of the sea arch with the coast leading along behind it and all the rain and the mist and everything behind me, um, the rain is really starting to come down now so I'm going to hurry up and take this one because this camera's not weather sealed, there we go, that'll do mate, so I will pop that on the screen for you to see and then I'm going to climb the other side of the um, fence and get this camera put away in the bag because like I say it's not weather sealed and the rain is starting to um starting to drizzle down a little bit good times Right, so I had to put the Lumix away because it's not weather sealed. So what I did is I got the 6D out. There we go. The 6D is weather sealed and it's still drizzling a little bit. Um, what happened, the sun is rising over there and the rain, and you may be able to pick this up on the camera now actually. Because the sun's rising over there and it's raining down there, you get a really cool sort of diffused look to the image. So the, the rain sort of scatters the, the warm sunlight and gives it like a really diffused kind of look. So I dumped over the barrier again with a 6D, which as I said is weather sealed. So is this GoPro, it's getting soaked. And I've got some really quite tasty looking images. They're all HDR images, I had to bracket them all because, because the sunlight was too harsh and the, um, the sky was sort of blowing out. So they're all three shot brackets, so I'll put them on for you now to see. And then we're gonna head off and sort of explore the cliff tops. Hopefully this rain's going to clear off soon. It seems to be clearing a little bit now. If you look down there, you can see it's quite warming up now, look. There's some nice warm tones to the landscape, which is quite nice. Um, yeah, so hopefully this rain's going to clear off. There's a bit of a rainbow behind me, and then we're going to go take some pictures of the seabed, so I'm going to go grab some B-roll and try and get dried off a little bit, because it's still around freezing, and I'm now soaking, so not very comfy at the minute.
I'm really quite happy now. I found how to find puffins when I come to Benton Cliffs. There's some just down there on the cliff edge. It's basically get off the footpath and get onto the uh, cliff tops. It's a little bit sketchy, but it's the way to get the shots. Uh, settings I'm using, I'm at 200 millimeters. Well, I was until it moved. I'm at 200 millimeters now because I'm at 200 millimeters. I'm shooting at a 400th of a second just to basically double my focal length and shot speed just to keep shots nice and sharp. I'm shooting auto ISO, it's coming up a little high, it's coming up around 800 basically because there is no sunlight as, as you can see in the sky behind I me, mean, there's a lot of cloud, the sun's right over there, it's just too cloudy for this, so let's take some pictures of some puffins here. Eh? Ah, so there's some just down there, so if we focus on them, snap away there, there's another one just on the cliff top, and gives a smile, there we go, beautiful, let's have a look. Let's have a look off the edge of the cliff here. I don't like this, it's a bit sketchy, but let's get nice and close. There's a CCTV camera down there. There's some black and white things. I don't know what they're called. Uh, there's two more there. I really don't like where I'm stood right now, so I'm moving away from the edge. There we go. So I'll put that little series of pictures on the screen for you to look at. And I think what we're gonna do is just head off down there because there's another little platform area to stand off and hopefully it might be a little bit less death and destruction. I was hoping for a bit more sunlight if I'm being honest with you. It'll clean the images up a little bit more than they're going to come out but it is what it is. You can't always plan for these things. The weather up wide once again so yeah I'm having a good morning this morning. Camera's soaked. I'm soaked but at least it's warming up a bit. This is why I always come home wet and muddy. It's great fun. Exposure compensation wheel, use it, it helps.
Oh, the joys of photography. I've just been laid down in the grass. The grass was wet. I'm now wet, so this is turning to probably the most rewarding trip to Bempton photographing birds I've ever had. Uh, over the last few months, I've been putting in just a little bit of time and a little bit of effort working out actually how to take pictures of wildlife and figuring out settings and how to do it and everything and it seems to be paying off this morning well at least it does on the back of the camera anyway I've not actually seen the pictures on the computer yet have I that's always a different story but I'm getting there with this I'm not a wildlife photographer by any stretch I prefer landscapes sunsets tasty skies like we had at the start of the video but I do quite enjoy the wildlife side of things it is quite rewarding and to be honest with you, it's nice and chilled out and it is, there is a general reward when it comes to getting a nice picture of an animal doing its animal thing I'm getting a bit sentimental now, aren't I? Alright, so I'm at a viewpoint called Jubilee Viewpoint um, not a lot in the way of sea bears well there is, but they're not there's no photos to take of them basically. I managed to get a nice one of a tanker out at sea, which I'll put up now. But other than that, not a lot of seabeds here, but the sun has come out and the way it's facing, it's facing along the cliffs which are that way. Now where I took the shots of the puffins before with no light, they're now going to be illuminated quite nicely by the sunlight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back to where I was taking shots of puffins and just see if I can get something a little bit cleaner. See if we can drop the ISO up a little bit, bump the shutter speed up a little bit, see if we can get something a bit cleaner and tidy. Because I've got a feeling the ones I took earlier on were a little bit noisy and a little bit underexposed. So now the sun's come up a little bit, I'm going to head back down there and maybe get a bit more colour, a little bit more life, a little bit more light on these puffins if they're still there basically, so let's head down there. Oh, right, that's so excuse me because the sun is right in my face. Um, where I planned on going to, puffins were still there, no sunlight, but there is one just down there on the cliff edge, so I've stuck the extender on. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go 400 millimeters, now we've got a bit of light. I know this sends me to F8, but well, it is what it is. Uh, I saw, let's have a look. I saw 400. I can live with that as long as a good bit of light on it. So let's grab one more of this puffin, so I'll talk you through it. Right, so I'm at 400 millimeters, and I am having to manually focus here, but we can see him quite clearly. Um, the 3,200th of a second, that's far too fast. There we go, a thousandth of a second, ISO 200, F8, there we go, see how that turns out. All right, so I think that was a good morning, really. Uh, by looking at the back of the camera, anyway. Not too sure how things have actually panned out until we get home and see them on the computer. But other than that, I've had fun. I've enjoyed myself. It's been nice to get out. I am absolutely soaking wet through. And fingers crossed, I've got some nice pictures of some bears this morning. And obviously, we've got that really nice sunset. Sorry, sunrise to begin with. The sun is really in my eyes. What if I turn my hat round? Yeah, well, that's a bit better. Yeah, so I've enjoyed myself this morning, we've got a nice sunrise, hopefully got some nice pictures of some birds and well thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up, share the video, it helps the video out. Um, if you want to see more videos from me in the future, hit the subscribe button. Until next time it's peace and goodbye. <laughs>